Hello creative fam and welcome back to my channel. As most of you know I'm having a Christmas giveaway special and I will announce last week's winners in this video. Last week's winners will be getting some bling pieces from Totally Dazzled. Finally for the grand prize Christmas giveaway you have a chance to win a robot vacuum cleaner. This is the DBOT 601 model and it comes with all the bells and whistles. Man, I love this thing. You can connect it to like Google uh, Voice or Alexa and have your robot on voice command. I really think of the Jetsons when I see things like this. It is super quiet. It's like having an extra hand in the house. It cleans your whole house while you're away. It's smart. It goes from carpet to tile with no problems whatsoever. Um, this thing is loaded with tons of features and I'll link below where you can check it out yourself because even if you don't win, you can still spoil yourself with a robot and I promise, promise you will enjoy it. They've marked it down drastically just since I've received the first email and theirs is like $100 less than what I found at Walmart. I use different clips from YouTube channels to show you guys a variety of floor tops and how smart this D-Bot is um, so like if you have stairs in your house it will not fall off of the edge I think that is so neat it cleans under your couch it has just a ton of features it's so so neat and I'll link below um, the link to it so you can check it out as well as the YouTube videos I used for this demonstration and I'll have more details at the end of this video on how you can enter it is a little different this time since it is the grand prize there are several ways you can enter but more about that later for now let's jump right into the DIY project For this no grout technique, you're going to need some nail putty or spackling and you can get that out of the hardware section of Dollar Tree. Also, you're going to need some acrylic paint and you can get any color you'd like, whatever goes with your decor. You're also going to need some Mod Podge, um, a throwaway bowl, a plastic spoon, some uh, rubber or latex gloves. Also, if you want to add a little bit of texture to your mixture uh, you can grab some glitter and that is totally optional so I started out scooping all of the putty into a bowl and if you leave some nail putty in the container be sure to put the lid back on it right away because it'll dry out and harden um, so after I had all my putty in the bowl I added some acrylic paint and you can choose any color you want um, I went with white and I just put about a tablespoon and a half per container. And this is a soup spoon um, from Subway. It's pretty big. So now I just stir it for about a minute or two and you'll notice the texture changing. And it was really thick and pasty and kind of hard to spread. Then after we added the paint to it, the texture was more like Cool Whip. It's very creamy and lightweight. At this point, um, if you want to add glitter or some type of texture to this, uh, you totally can. It's optional. I did. I added about um, a tablespoon of glitter in mine. And next, you will need to add a tablespoon of Mod Podge. And this will be just a little bit less Mod Podge than the paint. And we want this to stay creamy and lightweight, but still dense enough to hold the weight of the crushed glass pieces. And we don't want to put too much in there to make it runny and get too thin. After your mixture is made and you've got it ready to go, set it to the side and take a little paintbrush and you're going to start painting a section of Mod Podge onto your glass candle holder. And let that air dry a few seconds. Don't let it completely dry. Just allow it to sit for a few seconds so it gets tacky. Now you can take your mixture and with a spoon, you just, uh, you know, scoop you up some and lay it on top of the Mod Podge section. And you may want to use a rubber glove like I did to help you spread your mixture out even. And another not too thick or not too thin scenario here. You don't want this to be too thin because the mix um, 
won't you know it won't be strong enough to grab and hold the weight of the mirrors just so you know what, what to look for you shouldn't be able to see through the glass at all and that's how you'll know if you have a good amount of mixture covering your surface also you don't want it too thick um, because the mirror pieces will sink down into the mixture when you start sprinkling your crushed mirror pieces now it'll be kind of hard to get it too thick but just so you know you can put too much on there once you have a nice even section covered in your mixture then you just hold your candle holder over a bowl or a large container and you just start sprinkling your crushed mirrored pieces over that section and actually this crushed mirror is uh, from dollar tree i crushed it myself which i really don't recommend doing that because it's a lot of work it takes a lot of mirrors and you could just go buy the crushed glass it's you know it's time consuming but if you have um you know several broke mirrors left over that you've saved from projects in the past and you don't want to waste them then yeah doing them yourself you know might be a better alternative than buying the crushed glass i also used um some homemade chunky glass glitter that i made to fill in the places that the mirrored pieces didn't cover very well and to me the homemade glitter really makes a difference here so while these are all drying once i have them all covered and um i'm gonna just set those to the side i put mine in front of a heater but you can just let it sit and as uh time goes and you let it sit overnight the uh, putty will get harder and harder and harder just like grout would do now you don't have to wipe anything off um, as long as your mirrors are clean prior to sprinkling them on here so i took some tea light candle holders from dollar tree and i'm going to be using those as my stem and i'm sure a lot of you have seen this before so i just add uh, some glue to the rim and i did notice that the uh, candle holders from Dollar Tree, the tea light candle holders, those aren't very even um, around the rim. And uh, the first one I did wasn't standing up very straight. So I took the bottom of some wine glasses, the plastic wine glasses from the wedding section, and I just flipped those upside down and set those inside of the tea light candle holder and uh then i balanced my glass candle holder the top where we just decorated them and i seen that uh, i could control how it sits so i wanted to sit even so i just kind of eyeballed it i glued everything into place now you can put bling on it you can paint them you can leave them plain you can mix and match <laughs> however you want to do this but this is all there is to it and what would be a totally dazzled giveaway without some bling? So I used a starburst brooch on each of these candle holders. And I love these so much. You can easily use some side cutters to remove the pin on the back. Or you can order anything on their website custom. So you can choose whatever color you would like. And uh, you can also choose what type of backing you would like. So if you wanted you could order these uh, with flat bags so they'd be easy for gluing congratulations to all of this week's winners and i will get all of the winner surprises out um, i'll get them delivered this week and for the grand prize giveaway i won't know who the winner is until you know who the winner is so we can all find out together i'm going to stream live sunday night december the 16th at eight o'clock if you want to join the live stream and see who wins this is not going to be the diy video i'm just streaming live for this giveaway and i'll have my regular video out as you know for the weekend as i normally would i'm using social man to run this giveaway everyone um has the same chance to win and there are a ton of different ways you can uh, gain more entries if you'd like to. You can enter one time or you can enter in 
every way <laughs> possible if you want. All you have to do is click the giveaway link below. It is all self-explanatory and in the description box. Of course, you do have to be subscribed to Creative Living Lifestyles. Two or three people were saying um, they wanted to enter, but they didn't have any social media platform accounts, so they uh, couldn't share the video. So I wanted this to be fair and give everyone that supports this channel a chance to win. So there are other ways you can gain entries for this giveaway if you would like. So if you want to find out who wins the grand prize giveaway and see if you are the winner, then I will see you this Sunday night live at 8 o'clock Central Time.